Lovett and Gina podcast. I've seen something in the world of technology. I saw this yesterday and I thought, well, that's just, it just blew my mind. That's just incredible. And I mean, this must happen to you on a daily basis. Oh, all the time. Yeah. Because like, you know how techno I yeah. am. It's my middle name, Gina, Gina Techno Jeffries. is the least technological person yep. on earth. I think so. But you try. You really try. <laughs> and that's great. But you put your hand up yourself and go, me, technology? Yeah, yeah, step away. Step away. But you have a robot that works at your house, actually, I'll point out. Which I absolutely love. Her name is Alice. Yeah. And she's a robot vacuum. And that, that for me, is one of the greatest pieces of technology that's been invented God, I wish recently. we'd just not gone any further and said that it's a vacuum cleaner. And if we just left it as... <laughs> but you have a robot that works at your house. And you're like, yeah, absolutely. Her name's Alice. She's fantastic. <laughs> Boom, move on. <laughs> Let everyone go, yeah. oh, my God, it's like the Jetsons. <laughs> Gina oh, has a robot that works at her that house. that be cool? Yeah. She's at home cleaning my shower as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> she isn't. Oh, wouldn't that wouldn't be that nice? Wouldn't that be good? Automatic shower cleaner. Yeah, that just gets in right after you get out. Well, let me tell you about this. Auto- <laughs> it probably exists because this automatic uh, thing that I found out about yesterday. I got an email from the company. I'm still on their emailing list from like eight years ago, I think, and I bought a car from them. Hyundai. And so they uh, send this email, hey, we've got this new new car and here's some of the new features and stuff. And I looked and I went, are you serious? I clicked on it. I watched a video on the self-parking thing. <gasps> now, you know, there are cars now where you, so you come into the car park yeah. and uh, you're pulling up at uh, Aaron Affair and then you go, oh, hang on, I've got to work my way around this and get back in. And some cars, you can push a button and then you can actually take your hands off the steering that wheel. That is Absolutely what I need. Right. Because I'm embarrassing Parker. Driving uh, one of these Volvos last year, one of the fancy new Volvos, and yeah. it, it had the self bargain that freaked me out. Yeah. Uh, but you sit there and it uses all the cameras and stuff and yeah. works as well. Right. Here's this new thing that I saw um, that they do. So you pull up to, you, say you pull up to your place or shopping centre or whatever. It's essentially di- uh, designed for tight car parks. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at you, Wyoming shopping centre. Are they tight? Oh my god! Yeah. You can barely fit a car in, into a into a oh, space. Yeah. So getting in and out of the car <gasps> once you've parked there, you've got to climb out the back window. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pop the hatch, climb over all the seats, and climb out the back. You know what you do with this one? No. You drive up to it like you line yourself up roughly with it. Hop out of the car. Are you kidding? Hold the button on the remote on the key on the on the remote thing. And it drives itself into the car park and it doesn't matter if it's all wedged in and stuff and you can't even open the door. Because when you come back out of the Wyoming shopping centre, (laughs) you push the other button on the remote and the car reverses itself (gasps) out to when you can hop back. It's like a remote control for your actual vehicle. Yeah, that's crazy. Insane. Unfortunately, the two cars either side of you don't have that technology <laughs> and they're smacking their doors on your car, but all right. <laughs> the Rabbit and Gina podcast. So I might be rich? Yep. Anyone of us may be rich yes. and not do it, not know it. Not know. Is this like the lady the lady that won Lotto in Bad Bay <gasps> like yesterday or something? How much did she win? Right, so here's the story that I saw. Sorry, you're about to do this. To- well, I'll give you this one quickly. I've got another it's way to about- get rich. Okay, great. Oh, it's a get-rich-quick scheme no. coming from Gina. <laughs> Hang on. You don't believe how much money you can make from your own lounge room. <laughs> so she uh, went and bought a, f- a birthday card for a friend at the news agency yeah. in Bado Bay, the Nextra one, and yes. uh, she went along there and while buying the birthday card went, yeah, I'll grab a lotto ticket. I do that all the time. Sure. Grab the lotto ticket. And then a couple of days lo- later she uh, heard that there was a first division winner who hadn't oh. claimed their w- prize yet and she went oh i haven't checked my ticket <gasps> rolled on down to the news agent oh. hey you want to check the old uh, <laughs> ticket for me 1.3 million dollars <gasps> can you imagine in Bado bay husband's retiring she said oh. we're going to sit down have a good think about what we're going to do with oh. this what would you do like I think the first thing I would do is like, okay, got to go on a holiday. Just think about what to do with it. You oh, know? okay. Give yourself yeah, so a week in Fiji or her something. Her whole thing of, uh, <laughs> I'm going to sit down, have a good, we're going to have a good think about it. I was like, yeah, that's Gina. All right, we'll sit down, we'll have a good think about it. in Fiji. <laughs> Don't you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would uh, I would straight up waste a whole bunch of it. Yeah, you'd buy another Harley. Before thinking about it. Would you? 
You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd go. Yeah, well, you could. Spend, 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 yeah. spend. All right, let's get serious with this. We've <laughs> yeah. got 45 bucks left. What are we going to do with it? <laughs> I say we invest. <laughs> I Bitcoin? love that, Joy Sounds like a great idea. I know. It's a, oh, it's a fun dream to have. How wonderful for her. How exciting. I'm so happy for her. Local. Yeah, yeah. That's great. That's really exciting. I would still come here and work, though. Same. I wouldn't want to stop doing this. It's too yeah, much nah, fun. Yeah, nah, same. Yeah. What's your price to not come to work anymore, do you reckon? Like, what if it was oh. like 20 mil, you're out the door. No, look, you're I, gone. St- I still love it. Really? Yeah. But you'd have to do it from Fiji. Yeah. <laughs> The show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they have to be calling in from all, you know, yeah. Italy and yeah, yeah. But that would be fun. It's like where in the world is Carmen San Diego kind of thing. Where yeah, in the world yeah. is Gina Jeffries? Yeah. What would we, what's your number? Uh, eighty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you no, love I love. It. You imagine me without this to do every morning. What would you do? <sighs> I'd be lost. You, I would drive my wife insane. We yes. get about five days into holidays and she goes, when are you going back to Gina? <laughs> <laughs> this is exhausting. You're very energetic. <laughs> Thank you. You like to you like to achieve lots of things in the one day. I do. Yeah. Not enough, not enough daylight hours in exactly, the day. Exactly, so it's hard to I'm keep concerned. up with. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. Tell us how okay. we can make money because I want to make money. You could be rich and you don't know it. Yep. If you have an original 1959 Barbie doll. I don't. Somewhere, but someone listening might. Okay. So I'm going to tell you. The, if it's an original 1959 and you bought it for $3. Yes. It's now worth $27,450. So have a little dig through. You do wonder about those things, eh? Hey? Yeah. The things, the old. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know that I have anything. Uh, really you original. might have this. I have um, a set of headphones from my first ever radio gig. Oh, I don't what know. What are they? they what are they going to be worth do now? Do they still work? Oh, they're broken as. Oh yeah, <laughs> very broken. But I've still got them because they were my first. They're value. given to me by the program director. I say oh. given to me. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure that he was. <laughs> Totally aware. He took this, them. Well, who knows? Who, <laughs> who, who knows, we'll Gina? Know. We'll I, know. I know they're from my first gig right, at a radio all that station. <laughs> well, you all might right, well, have good. this. Yep. If you've got an Action Comics number one comic book that originally cost ten cents, actually you won't have it because it came out in nineteen thirty-eight. Mm-hmm. But some, they and they released two hundred thousand copies, so there will be some somewhere. Yeah. It's worth $3.2 million. Okay. So. Hold on to your old stuff. Yeah. Could be worth you something. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Now wait till Antiques Roadshow rolls into town. You can yes. take along and find out. The Rabbit and Gina podcast. Something popped up in my feed on Facebook in the reels, and I don't know how old the story is. It could be new. Or it could be from years ago. I don't know. Doesn't matter. It's one of, It doesn't matter because you know what? God, it made me laugh. Oh, that's, like, that's all that matters. Oh, so funny. Um, look, when relationships break up, there's different ways to handle it. You can be, uh, you can both be adults about the whole thing yeah. and just, you know, accept, hey, look, we're going in different, different directions or yeah. whatever. Let's just, we'll move on and, mm-hmm. and that's that. Yeah. Um, you know, I've heard of people that, you know, urban myth kind of things where they'd get revenge on, on the ex by like um, putting a dead fish under their car seat in the car and then over time <laughs> very specific well if you, you cut into the carpet and then you put it in have you done and then this? sew the carpet like, up again it sounds like you've done this and then they'll never find the source of the fishy smell <laughs> in the car you've done this haven't you no Is friend it? of mine <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> yeah, different uh, nasty revenge things that yeah. you can do or whatever. Um, but the way that this person has handled it, um, well, I don't know. It's it, Look, it's terrible. It's terrible. <laughs> don't do this. But hilarious at the same time. Have a listen to the story. McCann's mother has been forced to block dozens of calls after her ex-partner allegedly took her phone number and plastered it on polls here around the CBD telling people to call up and impersonate Chewbacca for a chance to win $100. This would be the most childish breakup I've ever had. Like, all you had to do was be mature and go, I don't love you anymore, I want to move on. I won 500 bucks. (laughs) That's terrible. Oh, she should. She didn't need to be with him. That is terrible. <laughs> that is 
is. That is terrible. Uh, do you think he was just terrible the whole time? Like that was just a normal thing for him. Hmm. She's had enough she of his childishness. To- yeah, didn't seem totally surprised by the behaviour. <laughs> oh, what a funny and terrible. It's terrible, Gina. Don't do that to anybody. I would never do that. Pretty funny. <laughs> For a chance to win $100, ring up with your best Chewbacca impersonation <laughs> and someone's phone. <laughs> it's terrible. Don't do that. Obviously. Don't do that. Obviously, don't. Don't do that. Okay, good. <laughs> the Rabbit and Gina podcast. What I was wondering is, anyone else have weird names for their um, their sports like teams when you're on a team? You know, like you've got nicknames. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when you're at a touch footy team yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, and you don't call anyone by their name. Like, have you ever noticed that in... In, not, in the team? Yeah, they make up special names for their teammates. And Where does this come from? Why are you in a, because, you joined a touch footy team or something? No, not touch footy. Rod used to play old man soccer. I used to call it the under hundreds division. <laughs> 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 to get in that team, you had to have a bald head and a pot belly. Pretty much. Oh. That was just my observation. I didn't see the initiation process, but his whole team... <laughs> Well. But you reckon they would knock people back at the door if they had, yeah. like, oh, yeah. oh, a- abs actually, and a full full head of hair? Yeah, one Sorry, guy, mate. One guy, he was allowed in the team. He he, good, but he was a really good player. And oh, oh, come to okay. think of it, his name was just Wayne, and they just called him Wayno. Oh, and there's so, old knuckers and knuckles and knackers <laughs> so and Rod's, spider over there. <laughs> right, soccer team was Bomber. Yeah, Cashy. They'll, they'll be listening now. Slapey. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I'll try and guess their real names. Bomber. Yeah. Bomber. Ooh. This is going to be hard because I can't answer it if you get it right, but have a guess. <laughs> oh, you don't know? I only know him as Bomber. I don't even know his real name. So the thing with Bomber is uh, <laughs> oh, it's like Steve Bomb bom, 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 Bomdistio. Bomdistio. Uh, it's Italian. And so they call him Bomber. Right. That could, that, now, that could be correct. I, yep. If you oh, – we know them. We go to dinner with them. I do not know his Steve. real name. Steve Bomdistio. Steve, Steve Bomdistio. We call him Bomb for short. Oh, Bombastic. That's what I call him. Oh, maybe that's where I came from. Oh, give me another. Who else we got? Cashew. Uh, we got Cashy. Cashy. Oh, that's Cashy. Uh, Darren Cash. Yeah. Darren uh, Cashmere. His first name is just Cash. That's that simple. There's. Slap. Oh wait, what? His first name. Oh, his actual is Cash. name is Cash. His actual name's Cash. They call him Cashy. Oh, it's not There's the one I know then. Darren. Different Cash guy. Me. Yeah. Slapey. Oh, well, that's surname. Yeah. And Mike's Slapin. Slaper. Mike Slapin. Yeah, it's not Mike. <laughs> Sounds right, doesn't <laughs> it? No, the name's Wayno. He's the one that doesn't fit. Rod and Rod. Yeah. <laughs> because his name's Wayne. What's Rod, Rod, what's Rod was name? um Rock and Roddy. <laughs> Rockin', rockin', <laughs> Roddy. Rockin Roddy. But the funniest one was on Rod's cricket team, and this stuck. It's so sad. Rod, call, they called him this when they were kids. Oh no! And they still call him this now. Oh no! Like now they're in their in their fifties. Yeah. Bumhole. I'm sorry. What? Bum no, hole. no, no. I shouldn't say that because then you'll just repeat it. <laughs> That's his name, and they still call him that. And it's what? stuck. Why? You know, <laughs> I don't know. Here's the thing with nicknames, right? <laughs> Always with ones like that. With ones like that, you go. What's the story there? You know, Cashy, whatever. He's yeah. either he's loaded or his name's Darren Cashman. <laughs> oh no, that's right. His name's his first name's Cash. His first name's Cash. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, not much of a story on that one. No. Uh, but I mean, it, a lot of them, you just go. Well, it must be related to their name in some sort of way. But then along comes one <laughs> like Rod's one, and you go. Well, there's a story there. We had a kid in our class in uh, Intermediate and, oh, the poor kid. He had this name for ages. And it was years later when I actually found out his real name. Like, we all just called him by his nickname and never by his actual name. Years later, I found out his name's Eamon O'Connor. Um, but what? we all knew him. You know, you scratch your head in class one time. <laughs> We all can knew I, him. Can we, I have a guess? We, no, you won't get it. <laughs> what? Nits? No. <laughs> Cooties. Oh, you scratch your head off. one time. And it's stuck. All th- for years of school. Oh, no. Cootie. It wasn't even cooties. It was just cootie. Did, uh, he, did he mind, though, once it turned, or did he hate it? I don't know. I reckon. Because <laughs> what would be funny is he's gone on in life to be <laughs> Eamon O'Connor in place. I've never spoken about him since, like, you know. Oh. Years and years and years ago. But uh, if 
if our school were to get back together, we'd walk into the room, everyone would go, Cody! And he'd be like, he'd start shivering. <laughs> oh, God, I'm here again. The Rabbit and Zena Podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.